right, so there's this game called Factorio. Played it before, now we're playing it again. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Death World. So here we are in the majestic base that we built up in the last episode. So in this episode, what we're going to do is continue the turret wall, because I didn't finish it, and we're going to start, we're going to automate some science. Let's get started. So yeah, we have decent bullet production, but what in this episode, what I want to achieve is red bullet production. So we need the military to research, which gives us these piercing rounds. The only problem is, as you can see, they require steel. How fun. So, what we need to do is really, we need to get a lot of iron. Why is there uranium over here? But, yeah, we need iron. And we need iron bad. The only problem is, this is all of our iron. So, we'll most likely expand this around this so we can fully mine all that iron. And then we really need some more iron. Because we are definitely limited by iron. Oh no, that's a decent attack that might actually break through the wall. Let me- I'm gonna go lure that attack so it doesn't build up too much. Strats. Oh, no, 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 no. Help, 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 help. Aha! I am safe now. See, if that were to build up too much, then the turrets might not be able to handle that. That's a big boy problem. But yeah, we need iron. And for some reason, there doesn't seem to be any resources. There's like, I can see every resource but iron in some abundance. And we need that iron. So yeah, I think we're just gonna hunker down in this base and just like, you know, build more turrets and stuff. Just get to work on... Should I semi-automate turrets? Why not? But yeah, we need research and we need just... I'm gonna get more radars so we can pretty easily, like, make some stuff. Alright, so yeah, we need more radars. Radars, radars, radars. So we can radiation. <laughs> no, not radiation. Uh, just observe area. These are pretty important, so we can basically, like, continue to remove area here. So we can easily see, like, for instance, what is maybe taken stuff. Like, what, what, what is everywhere? Because we really need to know. Like, because we need to just scan. Oh, crap. Good job, turrets. Good job, turrets. I have a lot of iron ore <laughs> for some reason. So let's get in these extra... 18 turrets that I've crafted up. And then we'll most likely start investing in more pipe walls. Yeah, let's let's start investment in more thick pipe walls. You know what we need? We need fast inserters. That is a total of 60 of these boys. One, two. There, 60 red science. I should actually stop. I should stop production of that red science. And what I should do is get an assembler and in just inserting into a lab to do it for me. Yeah, just craft. And research this and research this. No, 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 no. This is the part where I turreted. Alright, we're good. We definitely need to continue the turret. The turret edge needs must continue. Have you crafted turrets? Holy crap, you've crafted turrets. 
Oh, good. It's consumed all the copper. I fed it. Here, craft more. That's finished. And then we're go basically going to add in a second thing of pipe over here because it's pretty important that we actually protect the, the engines. Oh, crap. It's, it's very important because they produce a whole hecking lot of pollution. So it's crucial that we protect them to her as much as we possibly can. So I'm gonna get this new pipe wall in, remove all the old pipe wall, then start full construction on new turret area. We are getting close to our actual limit for how much we can consume, but we should be fine for a while. And the radars are finding new area, which is always nice. Still no sign of anything iron. Oh my gosh. It's a line. Uh, yeah, we really badly need iron. So what we're going to do in this episode is definitely automate iron gear wheels, or cogs, electronic circuits, and both red and green sides. The first step to that is we need a better one of these setups. So we're just going to get rid of it. And removed. So I've completely removed that area right there. And yeah, it produced pretty decently. So basically we need to copy what we have up in up by the iron setup. Just uh, not nearly. Not nearly as big. We only need like one of these big boy setups. Like one of those. Give me some iron. Oh, that was... That was a little bit too much iron. Don't give me my fish. Alright, so we're gonna need uh, more of these. <laughs> but yeah, we need to we need to automate circuits and such. Because we just need to. We're most likely gonna produce down in this area right here. Just gonna grab like these and then we need uh, that much drill. But uh, yeah, the uh Attacks are starting to get very consistent, which is a problem. Oh, oh no, oh no, 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 no. Wow, no damage too. All right, well, it looks like this area is getting real hard attacked, and electronics is done. Kind of like that, yeah, because there's a huge base there and there and there, and we're not even getting attacked by like these southern bases. Ladies and gentlemen, we have found iron ore. All the way down there through a bunch of biter bases. Which is a problem. Our, our iron is going to run out eventually. How much have we used? We've mined <laughs> nothing. We have mined nothing. So we should we should be fine. We should be fine. How many bullets are we actually producing? So you can click the minute thing and about a hundred a minute, which is great. How much are we consuming? Nothing. Like four a minute. So we're definitely overproducing bullets. That's okay though. That's you wanna be you wanna overproduce, not underproduce. Remember. Always Splitter. Not. Merge. Like that. And now we need stone furnaces. So, belt, inserter. And copper has been completed. Look at that. Now all we need to do is get a lot of these and start producing, well, basically everything. And I need some more of these too. But I'm out of iron. Surprisingly. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to route this better. Probably disassemble this. And then, so this, so one half of this is being used for bullet production. The other half is going to be used for basically everything else. Which is a pretty good balance, if I do say so myself. Uh, iron. This is a bad iron patch anyway, like, 
to train it over to the main base, we need to go like that, set up turret here, set up turret here, most likely. Because, correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think turret, I, I, turrets, I don't think biters attack anything that doesn't either attack them or makes pollution. I don't think they do. Fast inserter has been completed, which is great. Which means we can use these boys. These boys are great boys, because that means we can regulate the flow of bullets and store them. Grab two of them. So basically, bullets will come in and into a chest. So, eh. With a chest. Oh no 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 no! Ha ha! Double double thick pipe walls. See, I told you. I I told you. I knew that'd be a problem. What I do? Double thick pipe walls. Now none of my turrets have been attacked. There we go. Ha ha! Okay, that's actually a big attack. Let me let me go just disperse of that attack real quick. Nerds. Okay, now they're coming, now they're coming, now they're coming, now they're coming. Uh Okay. So what we need to automate is Um Comps. Let's let's put like 10, 20 assemblers into the production of cogs. Engaged. The cog machine has turned on. <laughs> nice. All the cogs. Let's start storing these, shall we? I need more chest. Ha <laughs> ha! So now what we need to start producing is we need to split that belt over there at the copper in half. So what we can do then is... Oh, crap. See? 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 I told you that's a high-risk area. We need to start production of copper wire. Ten assemblers should be enough for the production of copper wire. Then we use all that copper right there. Make some... Oh, hey, that's an attack. Uh, then we make some... And we make some green circuits. There we go. And we'll most likely actually split this off. <clears throat> we'll most likely split that off because I think this cog facility is definitely not using nearly as much as it can. And we'll do like belts or something up here. We'll produce belts. Auto belts. Oh yeah, is uh, mediums coming yet? No, mediums don't come for a while. We're good. We're good. But we need piercing rounds before they come. Because if they come before we have piercing grounds... <laughs> uh, I'm dead. They, 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 they take a large amount of hit to die. Medium worms. I'm good as dead. Copper wire being produced. We, in fact, can produce a large, large amount. So now what we need is about 20-ish assemblers for electronic circuits. Yeah. Oh, that's big. That's big. No brakes? So let's start producing. There we go. We have engaged to circuit production. Look at all these boys. 
these green guys. Just a quick storage solution. I don't do many now. Producing a lot of pollution. <laughs> And, pa and consuming a lot of power. We are surprisingly not hitting power cap. We are very close. I'm not taking my chances here. I'm getting another 5 boilers and 10 steam engines. To ramp this baby up into actually large production. There it is. Let's shut down. Uh Okay, we we brought we brought power back. If only just for a couple seconds. That's all we need. When all right, come on. Start inserting. Ah. Oh. We just have to put a single piece of coal in. Hey, there we go. And now we have engaged power again. Probably like 10. 10 of these, okay. We're actually gonna use cogs now so you guys can stop yoinking cogs. Alright, that's that done. Now we'll probably lab it up right here. Or something like that. So we'll get a couple labs. And then throw them down right there. And then we'll have a decent lab setup done. A lab presence science. Alright, let's research every red science. These, these increase damage of weapons. And we need damage of weapons. All right, a 10 mil iron patch. That's always nice. All right, boys. We got red science. Split it and then split it again. And then only this. Only this goes. Which is everything. But we can take these and use them for other purposes. Like, for instance, we'll most likely craft green science right here. And then, therefore, the components of... Oh, no! Also, yeah, look at this base. And we still have so much area, and we've automated what, like, green circuits, red science. We'll automate, uh, most likely inserters will be built down there. I think that's what we can do, because we have all the components. We'll most likely have to belt over more iron, though. Alright, let's start work on green science automation. Green... So I don't know the exact numbers on how you automate green. I don't have green. Wait. <laughs> I guess we need to wait for it to research first. But, uh, yeah. We're gonna research every single red... Just single red research. Because they research decently fast. I'll catch you when all of those are done. Alright, so finish researching. And... Logistic science facts. They take one belt and one inserter. Six seconds crafting time. So basically what we need to do is set up 12 assemblers for this sucker because of the wonderfulness that is Factorio Cheat Sheet. I know the exact numbers and it's you want 12 of these versus like for every 5 of these assemblers you have you want uh, 6 of these. So this will be green science which yeah we can do this, and then, for instance, inserters, which we can produce down here. We'll need, uh, again, 11 of them. So I mean, 12 of them. One, six. I think I actually want to move these down. Yeah, we'll make like eight. No, we'll, we'll, we'll do seven of those so we can actually have a couple extra. 
which I'll also do down here. So we'll have two extra making these. Now you might be thinking, well, mate, why do you have half for one? Like, why do you have half of these required? Because when you make a belt, you make two of them. So I don't need as much. All right, now we can stop taking these because one of the ingredients, you guessed it, is circuits. So we can just... Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Da 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 da. Just get these down here like that. Oh, yeah, this is actually a really big brain. And then we take that and like that. Then we just place that like that. Take this. Get it up here. Get more of these. Do that, do that. So now we have this belt. <laughs> Gig enormous brain. Although this can't then deposit. We just move this over a tile. Oh, no, 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 no. Even dual layer? Actually, dual layer. No, they didn't break through. They just broke one. I was going to be like, even the dual layer couldn't stop these suckers? Nope. Just repair it. And move on. We need weapon shooting speed and weapon damage. Now. Up into the this. And then that's half of everything done. Then we need to uh, uh, get some more iron over here and cogs. Alright, I got the inserter stream to go up into green science. Now all I need to do is to hook up the inserters, which I don't have enough of. Oh wait, I have inserters right here. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. I, lo I love automation. Now that we got these, that will be everything automated that we need. And there we go. That is, in fact, green science. We will begin research of military too.